How are you doing folks? Welcome back to Alcamoto, welcome back to Alcamoto's workshop and here we are now with the final part of the Sports the Tank painting series. So in this one now we're going to lay on some clear coat and make this tank pop. There will be a final vlog on this but it's going to be a separate one on polishing down and flattening to give you that uh, show finish to your tank. Uh, but for now this is about laying a clear coat on. So we're going to show you now what clear coat I use, the mixing of it and the gun that I'm going to use to do this job with. Okay, let's go and take a look after the intro. Okay, so over here on the prep bench now, you can see we've got this mixed. This is the clear coat we've got mixed in here. And obviously we've been over this before. I use specialist paints in most of the work that I do. Okay, so we've got the 2K show clear. Mix the two parts of show clear and one part of the activator, which is here. So it's a simple process. So in here, we use the mixing pots and um, we've got about oh, 300 on the gauge on here. Okay, so we've mixed 200 and then 100 of the clear coat to give you that 2 to 1 mix. Okay, so that brings us to the gun. So with this gun now, we're using this beautiful gun, which is the uh, A&I R160Q. Now these are Italian made and it's a fantastic looking gun. It's fantastically well made, beautiful finish on there. Okay, and this is going to be the new clear coat gun. And the good thing about this one is if you look at the pot sizes. So with the other small touch-up guns I use, the pot size is in between the large pot here. Obviously the camera is making it look bigger. But it's half the size of your large pot, your 600C, and in between the small pot and that. So it's, it's just perfect for the right amount of mix you're going to use uh, to put this on without having any wastage. So we're going to go ahead now and lay on the clear. So as you can see, we have laid the first coat of clear coat on. So there's two uh, sort of light flashes over. And that is absolutely beautiful. So I'm really happy with the new gun. So the a and I R160 is a fantastic gun to use. So that's the proof in the pudding. It lays it down. The, the atomization is so fine that there's going to be a lot less cutting down to do, which I've had to previously do with other guns. And even though I've got that glass light finish, it's took work to do. So it proves the point sometimes that I think with the final finish, you know, go with a decent gun. And I truly recommend the a and I R160. Uh, like I said, it's an Italian gun. It's uh, in the mid-range, I think, of guns, but it does spray like guns three times the price. And that is by the review by the gunman uh, also on YouTube. So uh, thanks to him, you'll never watch this. But uh, thanks to him, it's the reason why I purchased this gun. And uh, that's from Spray Guns Direct here in the UK. So a heads up to you as well. And thanks for getting it out to me in such quick time ready for this job. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and just lay the uh, second coat on. Because we're just going to fill the layers up now. Just so we do have to flat this down. And that's just so we don't get any feel from where the script writing is and the bar and shield from where we put the logos off because we had three coats of the, the base coat over the top, remember? And then we laid over 
uh, which I don't think I mentioned, the uh, Sparkle Red Pearl, which is a purpley, ready gold colour you see in the black paint. So that was done just before we laid the clear coat. Um, so that, I'm really happy with that. The three colours we've used on this pops. And remember, I always try and just use three colours. Any more than that sort of spoils the view, so to speak. So you want to try and get them to blend perfectly with the colour scheme you're using on your tank. So as I said now, we're going to go ahead and blast on another couple of coats. And when that goes off, the whole thing will flat it down before the very, very final one before we go to polish. So let's go and lay that on now. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching that. That is the final clear coat on the tank. We've laid four coats of clear over that base to give us this beautiful look with these three colours mingling together to give us this fantastic, fantastic deep purple, red and gun metal. So to me, that really, really works. So really happy with that. So remember, we've got the candy red, we've got the gun metal skull, we've got the red sparkle pearl laid in over the base plaque black just to give us this final look on the tank so you can see when the light hits you how that candy really comes out as well where the decal uh, decals were with the lettering and the bar and shield so super happy with that again we've got more custom work lined up in Alcom Auto Workshop we've got some more in-depth stuff coming with the airbrush and uh, plenty of other things coming inside the garage and yes we've got some ride outs happening as well so thanks for watching this. Hope you've really enjoyed watching this series. There'll be more on the painting uh, coming into the season and towards the end of the season. So we've got that coming right through in the year. Uh, again, some fantastic stuff there. So I hope you'll come along and enjoy watching them as well. So for all you new subscribers as well, as always, thank you very much for the support. And all you past subscribers, thank you very much as well for your massive support in where we're going with Alcamoto. Uh, some updates as well will be going on to the website soon. We've left that for a few weeks now uh, with other things in the way. So we're going to get back into doing some more on the website. And you can also send me pictures of your bikes to be featured on the website's photo gallery as well. So please check that out at uh, alcomoto.com. Uh, again, I'm going to sign out with this one. We'll come back for the polishing on this and give you the final polish. Also, we've got the owner coming in to have his bike done with some new bars and cables fitted. And we're going to fit the tank on at the same time to get this bike ready for our upcoming tour to the Scottish Highlands. So look out for that one as well on the channel. But for now, Alcamoto is going to sign out again, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.